how to get your github profile link to your resume hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to do so now this is obviously going to be very useful because you know if you want to show off uh, your projects that you have on your github uh, on your resume because you know people would uh, tend to see it see your work um, hire you you get the idea so if you want to do so it's very simple we're going to be using two different platforms the first one is github itself so we can get to the actual link second one is going to be canva so it is going to be a lot easier for us to add the link that we need in there so let's just go ahead and get started so the first thing is going to be fetching the actual profile link for your github profile so most likely than not if you're watching this video you should have a github account uh, so to get to the link you just want to click on your profile picture on the top right and just click on your profile which should be the second option once you do that you just want to copy this so just go in and copy this top link go ahead and copy it i just did so just Control c um, and copy that so once you do that all you need to do is just go ahead and open up your canva Obviously, you can, you can use different platforms, but I personally prefer Canva because it is free, easy to use, and it's just, you know, snappy. So if you already have a, a resume that you have, you can just feel free to upload it, and then we can add the um, element, which is the website, to our GitHub uh, later. But uh, if you want to create one from scratch, you can also do so by finding a template for a resume and just adjusting things out. So in my case, I'm just going to find a uh, template and I'll just uh, see you then. Okay, so I just found this one and I'm just going to be using it. So obviously uh, you would want to zoom in. Let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So uh, obviously you can feel free to change the entire uh, resume so that it fits you. So for example, the image, to change it, you can just go to upload, upload your own image and then just drag and drop it and it's just going to change for you. The text, you can just double click on it and change it to your liking, like so. And most importantly now, what we are actually going to be discussing is you should add an email section, uh, not email, sorry, the website section. So it usually with templates, you should already have one. If not, you can feel free to just find an icon from the elements, find, for example, websites or maybe even GitHub. Um, and you'll find different icons for GitHub. You can use them. Uh, and we can just go ahead and see if we can find anything here. If not, all of them are pro. We can just go ahead and get a browser icon, for example, uh, and use that. And then you can just add some text right next to it. So in this case, we already have this te the text. So I'm just going to highlight it and paste in the uh, profile link that I have. Let's just make it look a little bit more neat so make it smaller and we can just go ahead and make it like that and now again you just want to go ahead and highlight it and then you will find this option right on top which should say link so just go and click on that and again you would want to paste in the link one more time and click on done so now this way if you save it as a pdf people will be able to click on this and it's actually going to take them to the uh, github uh, profile so just go ahead and click on share once you're done uh, click on download make sure make sure it is pdf standard or pdf print doesn't really make a difference download and you're good to go so yeah this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching